Welcome back everybody, my name is Skippy. Today I promised that we were going to do something a little bit different, which is going to be heading over to the National Park to participate in the bug catching contest. So, I said last time that I would try to figure out how we were going to do that. I had to review some of the rules for the bug catching contest, so I think we're just going to do the standard Nuzlocke rule of just catching the first thing we encounter. But before we do that, we have a few trainers down here that I want to just get out of the way. So we'll start off the episode with just a few battles, hopefully not losing any Pokemon. That's a muck though. That's a muck though. That's that's pretty bad. I don't I don't like seeing a muck. Looking ahead, our level cap as of defeating Whitney is going to be level 25. So that's effectively going to be our cap. I put a poll out on Twitter as of the last episode asking what kind of Pokemon we wanted to pick up from Goldenrod because uh, as you might have noticed with the Togepi that we got earlier the event Pokemon, the Pokemon that are that's pretty nasty um, we'll keep this in but I'm I'm a little, a little worried about. Okay. Quick attack isn't so bad. Let's see how much damage it does. It's not that bad. But Goku's got some, some stuff going on. So we're gonna, we're gonna switch out here. Anyways, I put a poll up on Twitter, asking what Pokemon we wanted to pick up a Goldenrod because. Since the event Pokemon aren't changed, that's not good. I don't like that. Ooh. Okay, I think we should be fine. Yeah. Okay, even with a crit. That's not good, though. So anyways, I listed the Pokemon that we can pick up in Goldenrod. It's mostly going to be the Eevee from Bill, as well as the Pokemon from the Goldenrod Pokemon Center. Now, by the time you guys see this, that poll is going to be up, but I do want to, at some point, just sort of have something after every episode that people can vote on. Uh, as always, if you're interested, you can leave a comment on the video or a reply to a tweet with a suggestion for a name for a Pokemon for the next Pokemon we catch. And that's just something I want to try and do to, I don't know, have some participation, I guess. Or encourage some participation. We do have... I'm, I'm always very thankful when, when people see the new episodes and they want to, to include things. Like, I don't know. It's it's just cool to see people excited about what I'm doing. And, you know, even... Even even without the participation, it's just been really fun for me to revisit this game. With everything being randomized, I don't know, It's it still feels like Heart Gold Soul Silver, you know? It still feels the same. And that's that's really fun for me. So anyways... Uh, once that poll is done, we'll probably save this for the next episode because I anticipate people are going to be voting for Jatini. Jatini's got a pretty big lead as of writing right now, and since we already have an Eevee, it might be a little redundant to get another one. But people have been talking a little bit, which is, again, really cool to see. So, this means chances are... Uh, since today is Tuesday and we're doing the bug catching contest, the next episode, assuming nothing crazy happens in this episode, will probably be uh, doing the Pokeathlon and Voltorb Sweat. And Voltorb Flip. That's the word I'm looking for. I keep thinking about a Switch. I mean, maybe it's the new Pokemon game on the brain. So, next episode, I think, should potentially be pretty casual. Uh, a couple of laid back things, just maybe a little 
change of pace before uh, Ecotique City kicks off, because that could be... Why do they both want my number? That's weird. Uh, Ecotique could be a bit of a challenge. I'm not... I'm, I mean... Anything could be a challenge at this point. I said it last episode, I'll, I'll keep saying it. You... You never want to believe you're safe in one of these things. Because anything could happen. I could have just lost my Wobbuffet in that last uh, match against... Against that Fire Breather. If he had just decided to keep pursuing against Wobbuffet. And I wouldn't have been able to switch and I wouldn't have been able to heal. And maybe he got a couple of crits, he got a focus energy off. So, I could have... It's two episodes in a row where my Wobbuffet could have died. Returning to this episode, I'm really hoping, I mean the ideal is, since I assume that the Pokemon in the National Park are still, uh, they're still randomized, that I run into something like the Pinsir or the Scyther, which the game says is really rare and really powerful. The randomizer in trying to match that power level gives me something of equal strength. So I'm still looking for something rare. I'm just not maybe quite so worried. I don't want to have my photograph taken. And then I think there might be I think there might be uh, another route that I could pick up another Pokemon in. Between, there's gotta be a, a route between Golden Run and Ecotique. That isn't blocked by the pseudo Rudo. I'll have to look at a map. But, yeah, so that, that couple of pretty casual episodes coming up here and I hope you guys enjoy that as much as I, I do try and trim the the fat so to speak from the episodes I, I also do kind of want to just deliver a a holistic Pokemon experience quote unquote uh, except for all the grinding I have been grinding off screen just because I mean, the last the last leveling section took about an hour, maybe two hours or so. I don't know why I'm on my bike. We're gonna wake up Papa's because I plan on using them as my my capture Pokemon. It might be better to do it with Wobbuffet, but huh, that is a question. Papa's can put it to sleep, he can... Or Papa is she, she can put... I'm, I'm forgetting my pronouns. Papa's can put them to sleep and has a little bit of consistent chip damage with Sandstream and can reduce accuracy so it, it minimizes damage that it takes. So I'm gonna go with that. And we'll just put Capone in the box right now because it doesn't need to be in the party right now. Sorry, Capone. Today's Tuesday. Alright. So he says that we're supposed to go out and catch the strongest bug Pokemon we have. But we're probably going to end up catching the first bug Pokemon we have. And I wonder... I can't use my bag. I was wondering if I could... Use my repels in this area. To catch something. I'm here. I'm going to try and divine where the valuable Pokemon are. And I think 
I want to say it's in the tall grass, but it might be a bit of a trick. There's so many people down here. All right, what do we got? It's actually a scyther. Okay. So I guess the the bug types aren't randomized. Oh, it might it might be like considered a an event Pokemon. That's really weird. Really, really weird. This could be nasty though. Depending on how this goes. We'll try capturing it with one and then we'll try and maybe get its HP a little bit lower. Hit it with some, some sand attacks. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to be quite as greedy as we were with that Eevee, which that capture was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Oh, crap. <laughs> My... I meant to, I meant to attack. No, okay. Just a little bit further. I don't really want to hit it with a tackle because even though I, I think Scyther would be able to take this. Man, that's a fast Pokemon. Even though I think Scyther could probably take the tackle, I don't want to risk it too much. So we're just gonna go very, very slow. The leers are a little nasty. That's that's a little gross. And notice pursuit. So this is an interesting thing. I really didn't expect to, to run into a bug Pokemon. And I know that this is not the most riveting of content. But this is our only capture, and we kind of want to make sure that we do it. Do it clean. There is a pretty good chance that we're not going to win the bug catching contest, because in Gen 4, the contest is determined by level, uh, the IVs of the Pokemon, which is really weird. And then, like, how much HP it had when you caught it. And right now, uh, even though Scyther is really rare, Scyther is the, the like top of the, the rare bug chain. It might have bad IVs. Uh, it's already at almost half HP. And there it is. All right. Out of Scyther. And we can't nickname it yet. That's gonna be it for us. I guess I can do this. See how we do. Okay, he caught a Scyther, so... He also caught a Scyther. <laughs> And they were all, we were all beat by a Kakuna. My Scyther did not even compete. Sad day. Sad day. Shed Shell is pretty cool though. Shed Shell has a valuable use, I believe. And... Since we did have a name suggestion, I meant to put it on the Meowth earlier today, but I want to see... If this works. But we did have a name put in by a, a good friend of mine. He wanted it to be named Dirty Ears McGee, and that didn't fit. So we're going to name this one D.E. McGee, which if we're going by proper form here, there should be another period after that. And I navigate this menu. Alright, so even though I don't think Scyther has ears, 
Welcome to the party, Dirty Ears McGee. And there we have it. What does Lyra want from us? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. But I guess our Scyther was not a very good Scyther. <laughs> uh, but but he's our, it's, it's a lax Scyther, capable of taking hits, which I think means that the HP is really high. I don't know if we have a way to force evolution on this Scyther. So it's probably just gonna remain a Scyther. And that's too bad because part of what I love about um, this generation is it introduced one of my favorite Pokemon ever, which is Scizor. I've always just loved Scizor's design. Um, just loved everything about the Pokemon, the steel typing and everything like that. I know that it's a very, very powerful Pokemon, but I, you know, having not known that as a kid for forever, you know, I don't really care about that. Scyther's just a really, really big fave of mine. And I'm really happy to that I wound up that I wound up catching a Scyther as my, as my first Nuzlocke encounter, and that's just wild. So this this run, can we just like take a step back and and talk about how crazy this run is? We got a good starter, a really really good backup Pokemon, decent type variety, you know, nothing too great. An Eevee, which is effectively going to let us fix our. Uh, any sort of type weaknesses. Right now, I'm leaning towards the Vaporeon. Uh, and a Wobbuffet. Which, Wobbuffet is just crazy. You know, just absolutely crazy. And now we have a Scyther. Now, Scyther is not great for type, but hey, man, <laughs> it is what it is. So I think there's a couple. There's something we can look at down here. Since. We're trying to get rid of some trainers, and this has been, oh, kind of a, oh, I didn't know there was a cutscene here. Is she going to battle me? I didn't think, I didn't think she would do a rival battle. What does this lady give me? Okay. So... You know, I think we're safe. Again, fingers crossed. Knock on wood, however you want to say it. I do want to clear out these trainers down here because it is pretty valuable XP. And I think after we clear these guys out, that'll be the end of... End of this episode. Kind of a short one, but... You know, I, I'm I'm feeling really good about it. I'm really excited about it. I want that Pikachu. And we're gonna believe in Papa's that it can take a level eleven Remoraid. We're gonna We're gonna we're gonna invest in the idea that Papa's can do this. A complete shutout. I had no doubt. We don't we don't need a water type. Uh okay, we might we might not be able to take a seal, so. But again, if if you uh, if you think of an idea for a Pokemon name, you can always leave a comment on the video, or I usually tweet out whenever a new video comes out. Yesterday, I, I actually released two in one day, which is rare. I want to try and at least get like maybe one every other day max uh, I don't really have enough flexibility in my schedule that I can have consistent releases but I'm gonna try and work on that what am I supposed to do with this uh, I think Goku can can take this out it's steel type right This guy thinks it's tough. You're not tough. You're not nothing.
Got him. Papa's wants to learn takedown. Why, Papa? <laughs> Although now that we have uh, now that we have Scyther, he wants to learn dig too. What is going on with this Pokemon, guys? Do I just? I don't really want takedown, so I'm gonna. The rule says that they have to learn them. It doesn't say how long they have to learn them. Oh, and I, I will clarify in the description for this episode. I, I didn't explicitly put in the rule that I'm going by the, the basic Nuzlocke rule that it's the first Pokemon I encounter that I have to catch. I just It just says in the rule, one Pokemon per area. I have been following the, the first encounter rule and I've, I've recorded every capture, of course, but I'm gonna fix that after this. Vibrava, that would have been really cool. Again, if you if you have any ideas for you know what you'd like to see, oh, I'm sorry about that. I just hit the hit the mic boom. If you have any ideas for what you'd like to see, feel free to leave a comment or you know reply to a tweet. I'm always reading whatever people put down, and I'm always excited to see when people comment. Because as much as I just like playing this game, I, I do like I do like seeing. You know, the, what you're putting out there is being received, and so far the reception's been very nice. run into a couple of fossil Pokemon down here. He's got Mold Breaker, everybody. Feeling really good about this run. I, I think... I think this will be a really cool run. It's already been really cool. We've had a couple of big nail biter moments. A reset, after all, you know? Now this is unfortunate. We're gonna... We're gonna test what we thought of earlier. That the seal might have been too much... Papa's. And it flinches. So maybe... Maybe this is it. Maybe, with the power of RNG, we don't have to worry about water types. With Nuzlocke, you get much more power of being able to cleanly switch into a Pokemon. Uh, switch into an attack than you do switching in something powerful against that Pokemon the way I just did here, you know, after you make something faint. Because from what I've noticed, the parts that are really going to depress you in a Nuzlocke are the parts where you have to make a decision on the Pokemon that you're going to switch in. And sometimes those decisions can come down to if you switch in the wrong Pokemon or if you switch in a Pokemon that you're not 100% sure can take the hit, uh, you can just lose your Pokemon. And that, and, and with one Pokemon loss, you can lose your entire run. Which is why... Which is why our Wobbuffet, Wobbuffet is so very valuable. It has a very neutral typing to taking attacks. It has a ton of HP, which means it never dies. And, yeah. So with that said, again, next episode, I want to head to the Pokathlon. Can I get, hold on. I want to head to the Pokathlon, maybe work to get ourselves a water stone. And then... Yeah, head over to the game corner, do some underage gambling. I guess it's not underage if it's allowed, but we're going to be doing Voltorb Flip, which 
hasn't really been demonstrated that much in this series, but I am terrible at puzzles and, and Voltorb Switch is all about uh, logic sequences. So, yeah, yeah. So on behalf of Dirty, Dirty Ears and McGee and myself, I will see you guys next time. Have a beautiful night.